Number lines are a great way to help us see numbers in a different way. And today, we're going to use them to visualize fractions. And we're going to focus on the fractions between 0 and 1. Now, we've already looked at using shapes to represent fractions, like when we use circles or rectangles. So let's just take a moment to review and see how that relates to number lines. Here, we have a rectangle. And it's been divided up into four equal parts, and one part is shaded. So the shaded fraction is one-fourth. If we were to put this rectangle over a number line, we could see how the four equal parts of the rectangle are also four equal parts of a number line. But let's get rid of the rectangle altogether. We now have a number line that shows fourths. Because one whole is divided into four equal parts. Each of the tick marks represents one-fourth of the whole. All right then, let's look at a new fraction. Now let's see how many parts the number line is split up into. There are eight sections. So each section is one-eighth. Hmm. This is fun. Let's look at this number line. How many equal parts do you see here? You're right. There are 16 equal parts. Each of these parts represents one-sixteenth. Ooh, these parts are getting pretty small. I'm glad this isn't a chocolate bar that we're splitting up. The pieces are getting a little small for me. Okay, here we have another number line, and it's been split up into five equal parts. And that means each section is one-fifth. So this would be one-fifth. Moving over one section would make this two-fifths. And we can continue on like that. This would be three-fifths and four-fifths. And finally, we have five-fifths, which is also one whole. Let's practice by identifying fractions on a number line. So, here's a new number line. Start by looking to see how many parts there are. Remember, we start at zero and count how many pieces there are until we get to one. One, two, three. Hmm, there are three parts. Now let's place a star at two-thirds. This tick mark would be one-third, and so that means this mark would be two-thirds. And that's a gold star for you. Huh, look, this number line already has a star on it. I wonder what fraction that star represents. Well, first we can look at how many parts the number line is split up into. There are seven parts. Okay, seven parts, that's our denominator. So let's count to see where the star is. One, two, three, four. The star is at four-sevenths. Ooh, great job. That's another gold star for you. Let's try a couple more practice problems. Okay, we have to put a star at one-sixth on a number line. Well, let's start by creating the number line. Okay, we have a horizontal line, and we will mark zero and one. Now, look at the denominator, the, the lower number. It's a six. This means we need to divide the line into six equal parts. Now double check your work to make sure you have six equal pieces. Perfect. Now look at the numerator, or the top number. It's a one. So we need to move one tick mark over. Great, now let's put a star there. And let's make it gold to match the great work you did. So far, so good. We've been looking at the number line between 0 and 1, but let's extend the number line to find where the fraction 5 fourths would be. Now, since we're working with fractions that have a 4 in the denominator, we know we have to split each of these new sections into four parts. Now we can label each section. We know to start with 1 fourth and then 2 fourths all the way up to 4 fourths, which is a whole. Now, when we go past the number 1, the next section must be 5 fourths and then 6 fourths and 7 fourths. And you keep going until all the sections are labeled. Wow, we could even keep going if we wanted to. But back to the task. 5 fourths. Let's put a dot there. Now that we've extended our number line, let's do some practice with it. Here we have a number line, and between each number, the 0, 1 and 2, there are three sections. This means that we must be dealing with a denominator of three, or thirds. Identify four thirds by placing the dot on the number line at 
four thirds. The numerator or top number is four, and so we need to count four sections. One, two, three, four. This must be our four thirds. So we place our dot here. Okay, let's try another one. Ooh, this number line has all sorts of shapes. Well, we need to find what fraction each shape is at. Let's start by looking at how many sections there are between zero and one. Well, there are eight. Now we know that the fractions will have a denominator of eight, and we can count to find our numerator. One, two, three. Ah, we got to the star. We can label the star with three eighths. Okay, next shape. Keep counting. Four, five, six, seven. Hmm. The rainbow is at seven eighths. Eight, nine, ten. The heart is at ten eighths, and the last one, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The sun is at fourteen eighths. All right, you've done some great work with fractions. You were able to see how fractions can be represented on a number line, how the denominator tells you how many parts the number line is split into, and how the numerator tells you how many tick marks to move over. A great big gold star for all your hard work. See you next time.